Hey, hello everybody, my name is Aaron and welcome to my very first actual Black Widow Racing, um, I guess you would call it channel video. Actually, we're going to go downstairs right now. And I just wanted to introduce you to the newest project that we're going to be working on. If I don't fall down the stairs first. Sorry guys, I know it's a little wobbly. And I have so many things that I want to do for this channel and I haven't done it yet. So I figured now's a good time to get off my honey and start doing it. So this right here is going to be one of many projects that you are going to see on this channel. Right here is my not so new. I've had it for a little while. 1979 Ford LTD, which is also a Crown Victoria on the title. I don't know why it's like that on the title, but maybe it's both. And I don't really know a whole lot about these Ford cars. Um, I know a little bit because I've done a little bit of work to her already. But I don't really know much about them. I mean, this is a really nice car, obviously. I mean, it's... Oh, my battery's dying. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, it's pretty clean. I've actually just cleaned it out here recently. And the, you still have to kind of slam the doors or they won't shut. But... This car only has 49,000 miles on it, which is amazing for its age. And it really doesn't look, besides the, the rear view right there, I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in a little bit. That mirror's busted right there. But that's the only thing that's actually wrong with this car, besides, you know, a few cosmetic things. It only has one mirror. It doesn't have a passenger side mirror. So this is going to be my first project. This has a 302 Windsor with a three-speed automatic transmission. And... We're gonna start doing all kinds of things on this channel because I mean I make videos for gaming and put my music on the other channel and stuff but I have a whole yard full of cars that I could be making videos on all the time and I just don't. Why? Because I'm stupid and I'm an idiot that's why because I'm dumb and an idiot. And when we look out the window right here you can see my 1987 Pontiac Grand Dam. This is gonna be the major overhaul and uh, we're gonna zoom in right here to this truck. That's my 91 S10. It's getting ready to be turbo 2.5. Gonna have a parts truck, a 87 F-150, a 2008 manual Patriot. Um, also, all these other trucks are manual as well. And my automatic 2002 Grand Dam. My 87 is automatic as well. Um, so, uh, it's been a long time coming, man. And I've wanted to do so much to this channel, but I've like, oh no, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. And I've never done it. I haven't done anything yet because I'm lazy, I guess. And uh, also, if you guys didn't know, this is my shop truck. This is my 93 S10. It's my daily right now until I get this thing fixed back here. But I'm going to daily this for a little while. You know, get it cleaned up. Um, we're going to do a lot of stuff to it. And then probably sell it and buy another project. Or buy another motorcycle because my last motorcycle I actually got rid of for that F-150 that you see outside. And I have a video on it that I'll upload as well. So, But I haven't done that yet either. Imagine that. But we have a whole slew. A whole big slew of parts and things that we're going to be doing here. We're actually going to be doing something a little cool with this too. This is my kids. <clears throat> we have a bike engine down there. We have a microwave over here and a ton of parts. And uh, also, I wanted to show you guys before we get off here real quick. And uh, might I add, if you aren't subscribed to this channel and you aren't subscribed to my other channel, go check it out. See what you like about it. If you like it, please subscribe to it. And there's going to be awesome content coming out on that channel as well. So, this is... Uh, I don't know if you can see it very well. Might have to open these blinds here or something. There we go. It's a little bit better. Not much. Let me get my ass out of the way. That is my 1968 307 that came out of a Chevy Impala. A four-door Chevy Impala. Also, my other V8 motor came out of a Chevy Impala, too. It was a 64. It's a 283 with uh, power pack heads. So we're going to be doing some cool stuff with it. We're going to be doing all kinds of cool stuff on this channel, guys. So remember, subscribe if you're ready to see all kinds of car stuff, tips, tricks, working on stuff. You know, we're going to be doing some remodeling, obviously, and we're going to restore a bunch of things. So remember, stick around, and I will see you all 
in the next one.